Now, this is um, can be a bit of a weird one, really, because these are about some shoes I bought. Now these are high tech with Ortholite insoles, which you can tell by the band inside, and they did originally say that. I promise. And I bought these from Millets. <coughs> Now, I would have mentioned this on my blog at the time, but uh, the reason why I ended up with these is because five, five other pairs I asked them for, they didn't actually have in a larger size than an 8. Now, since that happened, I've spoken to a friend of mine, and he says he, he has the same thing. That whenever, if they ever walk in now, his girlfriend says about buying shoes, he says it's pointless because they never have them in my size. And that's gone on for quite a while, so as you can imagine it got to the point where it wasn't even worth asking. And that's a high street store called Millets. It's supposed to cater for people doing mountain climbing, hiking, stuff like that. All outdoorsy type stuff. Which is what these are supposed to be. Now they didn't have any of the Salomons I wanted in my size. Or Merrells. So I'd seen these by the door. So I decided to go for them. And as I would have explained on my blog at the time when I bought them. They actually turned out to be a new version of something that I was actually wearing at the time. <coughs> Except. I bought these. Um, around the end of October, beginning of November 2015. And it's the... They've been like this for a couple of weeks already. And it's only... And let me think, 1st, 2nd, 3rd... 4th of February 2016. So I've actually only had these a couple of months. But as you can clearly see there... They actually started to hurt my feet, and I couldn't understand why. And I was picking them up one day when I caught a glance of the soles and realised that they'd worn through quite badly. Here's where it gets weird. As I already said, and I'd already stated when I bought these at the time, these were the new version of a pair I actually had on at the time. The pair I had on at the time, I'd had for two years. These look like this after two months. And I'm afraid it gets even worse, because the whole time that I owned the previous pair of these, I wasn't in possession of a Freedom Pass. So I literally walked a lot more in them. And I never left Enfield very much because of my disabilities this time around I've been in possession of a freedom pass for over a year now well I know it's about a year or just coming up to a year which doesn't really matter because the fact is that I possessed a freedom pass the whole time I own these so I was on a bus a lot more still never ventured very far so when I when I saw these, I thought, how in the hell have these ended up looking like this after two months when the previous pair went for two years without any travelling around on buses to the local town? When these, I've quite often caught a bus to the local town. I simply cannot believe it. They haven't even lasted the winter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this and I'm not going to email high tech and I'm going to email minutes and I'm going to complain that not only have I not been able to buy a pair of shoes from their store that the pair that I did end up buying didn't last me more than two months and these are things that are, they, they try to put to you that you'd wear hiking around the Himalayas well, I don't think I'd like to go around the Himalayas in a pair of these. A pair of the old ones? Yeah. Not a pair of these ones. 
and the old ones I bought in TK Maxx, I thought I'd give them a go. I bought a pair of high tech silver shadows, giving away my age here back in 1985. They looked fantastic black suede across the toes, tan grey canvas. But the first time they got wet, the black ran into the tan grey canvas quite badly to the point they looked absolutely horrid and I decided I'd never buy high tech again until about three years back when I saw the previous pair of these in TK Maxx for £35 and I was more interested in the Ortholite insoles I bought them and they lasted and I was getting very little pains in my feet so I thought fantastic next time I'll be willing to go into a proper store and pay the money and the, the second time round, or third time round I should say, they've gone back to what they were like the first time round and made it extremely poorly. Unfortunately, high tech is not what they are. Low tech would be more apt with their shoes. And as you can see there, the balls of the feet have almost run flat as well. It won't be long before they're run through to the grey midsole just like you've got there on the hills. I simply can't believe it of a pair of mountaineering shoes or what they're advertised at and these are supposed to be £70 a pair and I paid £50 for them and they haven't lasted two months and that includes going around on buses. Absolutely stunning. So I'm going to email High Tech and I've also remembered I need to email Ortholite with a couple of questions too. And I'm going to email Millets and see what happens. Stunning.